the reality is there's not a city who signed a deal with us who hasn't more or less ended exclusionary zoning in Canada. And we've got, I think it's we're up to 19 deals plus uh, the province of Quebec with communities across the country so far. Uh, there will be more. Uh, part of the program uh, that isn't visible to the public because we're not seeking to go make examples of bad guys. We're trying to increase the ambition of good actors in this country and encouraging them to do more. Um, there are cities who won't receive funding because they don't want to end exclusionary zoning in Canada. Uh, I know who some of them are and maybe they'll change their ways. Uh, frankly, we've seen uh, a change in approach overnight uh, when we have certain cities that uh, have a healthy rivalry with their neighbors actually adopt less restrictive zoning practices and the city who's been pushing back on some of the measures that we've asked them to change uh, suddenly see that um, uh, when their neighbor gets some of the cash, uh, they'd like some too and they uh, have a, a change in heart. Uh, so cities should know uh, that if you're not willing to be amongst the most ambitious uh, cities in the country when it comes to zoning reform permitting processes, you won't be successful. Uh, we've received 540 some odd applications in this fund. Uh, the $4 billion will make a difference, but we might end up with somewhere in the ballpark of 150 successful applicants, depending on which communities we end up funding. Um, it, it doesn't offend me if I, I choose one over the other, and it shouldn't offend the municipalities either. Uh, it's not personal, it's about housing output. Uh, so if you want to tap into the fund, be more ambitious than your neighbors.